Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trademasters. So in today's video, we're going to look at a mid-cap industry. It's called as Scient Limited. This is a fundamentally strong uh, stock and uh, this belongs to the software development uh, company, basically the IT uh, sector segment. And these guys are into, uh, you know, uh, producing software for a wide variety of industries, including aerospace, healthcare, uh, railway industries, telecommunications, etc. and etc. So it's a fundamentally really strong script. So first we'll look at the fundamentals of this company and later on we'll be moving into the technical chart, what technical pattern is formed in this uh, science limited industry and how we are going to trade based on the technical pattern. So first things first, the market capitalization of uh, science limited is around 17,000 crores. So uh, it is well above the 5,000 crore mark. So it is very close to becoming a large cap industry. So it's a fundamentally really strong script and the market capitalization also backing this company to go to new highs in the further future and the near future as well. And the current market price is at uh, 1,543 rupees per share, but the book values are 244. Since, uh, uh, since the fundamentals of this company is really good and the company is making good amount of profits, the book value and the current market price is obviously not going to match. And if you look over here, it is very close to the 52 week high. So we have a good possibility the 52 week high is going to break. It has already broken out in the uh, you know recent times and we have a good chance of uh, a new 52 week high being formed in the near future and it is also a dividend paying script and the roc and roe is pretty good uh, somewhere around 13 and 17.2 uh, so it's also looking good and the stock p ratio is traded at 42.8 levels so that's what's a pretty good value and uh, coming to the quarterly results so this is a standalone quarterly results of uh, science limited if you look over here the company is generating consistent profits for the last 10 quarters and if you look over here the sales has been increasing on a quarterly basis as well so this is a really motivating sign for the growth of this company and i see this as a good positive sign for the growth of the company in the near future as well as the path of future as well and this is a profit in the last rate of the last 10 years. If you look up here, the company's profit has been consistently increasing at a rapid rate. So almost of 17 to 18 percentage, the profit growth has been increasing. And if you look over here, the sales also has been consistent and it has been increasing as well. Right. As on uh, March 2023, the company has uh, generated a profit of almost 355 crores. And if you look over here, with the face value of 5 rupees, the company is generating consistent uh, dividends as well. So it is in turn, it is giving out dividends as well as it is investing in the future development of this company. So it's a win-win scenario for both the company as well as shareholders. So I see this as a huge positive sign. And coming coming to the compounded sales growth, the song brand sales growth have been increasing at a constant rate of 8% for the last 10 years as an average. And the profit growth has been increasing at a 7% average for the last 10 years. And the CAG has 24%, that's a whooping 24%. And look at the return on equity. So this is a, a return on equity means uh, the returns in the uh, share price. So basically return on equity is generating a 17 percentage on an annual basis for the last 10 years. So if I have invested, uh, you know, uh, somewhere around uh, 2010 and as on today, your returns would have been more than uh, close to 150 to 160 percent. That would have been your returns as of now. So it's generating a consistent return on equity and the fundamentals of this company is really good. The sales is also really good. CAJ is absolutely beautiful. And the return on equity is almost 17 percent so this is a huge boosting sign for the growth of the company and the most important thing what we need to look over here in the balance sheet is the borrowing so borrowings basically show the depth of the company how much the company is in depth and over here you can see that from march 2012 till uh, march 2019 the company has been uh, you know it's a debt free company over here but over here we have some uh, liabilities that is basically lease liability so if you have watched my earlier videos, many of the companies right now are uh, getting into lease liabilities in order to get some tax benefits. So I see this once again as a positive sign because uh, they are limiting the taxes. They are limiting the taxes that are being paid off to the government. And that in turn, that taxes, uh, the tax, the taxes that are exempted will be moving into the profit uh, uh, condition. And those profits can be used uh, to pay out uh, to its shareholders in the form of dividends or in case if they want to improve their manufacturing facility or uh, buy some new equipments for the software development, then they can use this for their business development as well. So I see this as a huge positive sign. This is lease liabilities is a wonderful uh, you know, uh, strategy implemented by the company to increase its profits revenue. And uh, coming to the shareholding patterns, the promoters are holding basically 23.3 uh, to 4 percentage uh, shares in this particular company. 
and look at that FIS. FIS is holding almost 36.5 percentage shares, and the DIS is holding 21.3 percentage shares. So overall, the FIS and DIS combined, they are holding almost close to 57 percentage shares. So almost more than half of the company is in the hands of the FIS and DIS. And uh, let me tell you, the institutions are the player who are going to move the market, right? So these guys are the people who are moving the market price. And uh, since the FIS and DIS are hugely present over here, I believe this company uh can grow to new as not not on the business level but from the chart perspective it has a really good possibility to reach new highs and that is why i'm super bullish on this particular company because of the involvement of the size of the involvement of the fis and dis so overall from the fundamental perspective i see this as a really strong script to hold and the fundamental is also really beautiful so i don't think there is any negative sign uh, to look at from the fundamental viewpoint in science limited all right then so let's get into the technical chart so this is a four hour time frame that i'm showing over here this is a four hour time frame of Science limited and this is where we are going to analyze the technical pattern that is formed in Science limited so first things first let's plot the support and resistance so over here i see this as a good level of resistance and as you can see on uh thursday sorry on friday that is 11th of august yesterday we have a clear cut hammer pattern so now earlier this particular uh, zone was acting as a resistance now we have a clear cut breakout on uh, 4th of august that is the previous week we have a clear cut breakout and it is a very strong candle as well and the stock made high of almost six one six five four that's basically the previous high and after that it came down to retest so now this particular support is going to sorry this particular resistance is now going to act as a strong level of support and just at the support zone we have a good hammer pattern that is also formed so from the candlestick pattern, hammer pattern is a trend reversal pattern that is used to indicate a buy signal. So we have a good buy signal from the candlesticks pattern. And also the support is also very good holding. And uh, if I draw a trend line like this, then we have an ascending triangle pattern formation. So this is going to be a strong level of support zone. And this is the trend line support. And we have a clear cut breakout on the upper side. So this overall pattern is called as an ascending triangle pattern. And from here, I'm expecting the stock to move up so from here i'm expecting the stock to move up and coming to my buy price so the current market price is at 1544 so that is the current market price and buy and dips is going to be a good option over here so buy and dips till 1510 that is going to be my best buying zone so even from the current market price, the stock price is looking really attractive. There is nothing wrong to going ahead and buying 100% each at the current market price. There is no worry in that. But in case if you want to, you know, uh, bring down your average buying price, buying price by at least uh, 10 to 15 points lower, then you can always uh, implement buying in option strategy. So that is that is the strategy what I'm going to implement in Science Limited. And coming to the tar target, it's going to be a fixed target and it's going to be a single target as well. So one someone. 2.0 is going to be the fixed target what I'm freezing for Science Limited and my buy price is determined and my target is determined and now coming to the stop loss. So let's say like this is going to be my best buying zone over here and stop loss I'm going to keep somewhere around 1.410. So 1.410 is going to be a good level of stop loss. It is just below this previous low and once again the stop loss has to be a 4 hour candle close. So it has to, the candle has to close below 1.410 in a four hour time frame for the stop loss to be taken out so that is when uh, the stop loss will be hit and this is my target so i'm looking at a comfortable risk reward of almost one is to two so for a risk of one point my reward is going to be two points and that's a pretty good risk reward ratio what we are maintaining over here as well and once my final target is done i'm looking at a comfortable returns of almost yeah just a minute so this is going to be my best buying zone and this is going to be my target so once my final target is done i'm looking at a comfortable risk reward of almost 14 percentage so 14 percentage is a return on investment of what i'm expecting from science limited just within a short span of two months so this is once again going to be a positional type of trade or a short-term investment trade you can classify however you want but 60 days is going to be the maximum period what i'm prepared to hold science limited for a target of almost 14 percentage and we are also meeting a good risk reward of 1 is to 2. So that's a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, 
strategy what they can implement that's a that's a pretty good trading strategy what they can implement over here all right then guys so that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on science limited i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned some informative things from this video and uh, just a quick disclaimer this is a potentially good trade to take and if you want to uh, trade along with us please do contact your financial advisor and take his support as well and uh, as usual if you like my analysis please do click on the like button and if you uh, want to support our channel please do consider subscribing to our channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video for another exciting stock prediction till then it's back from chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching